Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, this is your last message for today to wrap up the full reading. You guys, this is my Twin Flame Oracle deck. This is on sale on the TikTok shop as well as JustDreamGuide.com. You guys, the bottom of the deck energy is scent. Somebody misses your scent. They miss cooking with you. They miss helping you out. They miss, you know, helping around the house. They miss specifically your scent. And this is not, it might be a signature scent. That's what I'm hearing, signature scent. It might be something like, you know, you might have a favorite scent that you wear from like a perfume or a body spray that you always wear or a certain soap that you use. But I'm hearing it's, it's your scent combined with whatever you wear. I don't know. Um, you know, it's a natural thing is what I'm hearing. And it's a natural thing. This person has very much so unconditional love for you. And I'm hearing that this is divine masculine that's missing you that much, okay? You might even wear a certain shampoo that he likes to smell or she likes to smell. You know, take it how it resonates, you guys. But they're depressed. That's the first card that comes out. Oh, my gosh. This is depressed masculine. I said that Friday. You know, they're still dealing with the changes of things. The galactic changes, the cosmic changes are causing a lot of emotions to come out of your person. Lots and lots of reflection over their decisions. Again, insanity, doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result. And they're like, what is happening with me right now? What's going on? Why does everything I touch just crumble? And Father keeps showing them that they need to change, okay? Change is necessary. Bottom of the deck here, somebody might have some legal problems here that they're dealing with, which may be causing depression as well because they have to navigate through all of this stuff, okay? Um, people might be gossiping. This controlling karmic might be gossiping, making things up. Or even if they're telling the truth, they're like, they're not really supportive of this situation here. They might be talking about their legal problems or talking about their, their financial issues that they're having. Because I'm hearing finances are a factor as well. Or, you know, just, you know, it's, it's just not good. They're not getting the support that they need. Um, this, this karmic might be dating others. The gossip might be that, you know, they're out there in the streets here. Because dating others comes up and frustration comes up behind it. And then your masculine might even think that you're dating some other people as well. Be, be careful on that. Take it how it resonates, but be careful on that because I always tell y'all, you know, if you're not ready to start dating, it's not the time to date. Don't date out of loneliness. Date because you want to get to know people. Date because you want to get to, you know, treat yourself to something, you know, expose yourself to love because you're not a martyr of love. I tell y'all that all the time when it comes to twin flame love, you're like, oh, but I'm supposed to be with this person. I'm supposed to be with this person. But don't jeopardize your whole life trying to be with somebody if they're not making the right choices and decisions, okay? So dating only comes after you've learned some lessons and you can actually handle dating, knowing that not to fly off the deep end when it comes to dating any other person, okay? Do not fly off the deep end is what I'm hearing. Somebody is getting a taste of their own medicine here, though, and it is a karmic family, okay? It's somebody like maybe mother, daughter, sister, brother. It's somebody who's in a, you know, a karmic family. I'm hearing that somebody was giving some bad advice because taste of their medicine fell right on top of gossip. Somebody's getting their own, the, a taste of their own medicine here because they, they speak too much on a situation that they don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing they don't know about this thing. Don't listen to what people say they don't know about, okay? They speak too much on that. And people don't understand words are, um, you know, words are like shade. Everything about it, like, that's why Father asked you not to gossip in the Bible. He asked you not to gossip because that's throwing shade, throwing the, the evil eye. That's what they call it, you know, in the spiritual community. You're throwing the evil eye on something that you don't even understand or know about. But that's the karmic family. It could be the karmic could be the karmic's mom, could be your person's mom, could be your person's dad, the karmic's dad, whatever. They're all speaking on something that they don't know about, is what Father's saying. Give me three more cards. One, two, three. Yeah, somebody says they want to apologize. Bottom of the deck energy. They want to apologize to you. They've been longing for you. Remember the first card was sent. They miss your scent. They miss your touch. They miss everything about you. They miss the way you cook. They, they miss the, the way, you know, even the little annoying things. They, they're starting to miss a lot more. And they're starting to see the bigger picture here when it comes down to y'all's connection. Bigger picture comes out. And it's got them a little stressed out when it comes down to it. That's why they want to apologize for all the time that it's taken, for all the things that they've done in the past time. Okay, they know you deserve better is what I'm hearing, but they're longing for you. They're, they're trying to ask you to understand the bigger picture. Bigger picture is y'all going to end up together. But, you know, they also need to know to make the right choice. So I always say this. Your person wants to say this isn't goodbye. I don't want to walk away, but it's best for us, for me right now. This isn't goodbye. We will be together soon. So if your person has walked away recently and they're like, man, I don't, I don't want to say goodbye. I just got to go handle some stuff real quick, especially if it's legal problems or financial problems. They're handling that, okay? 
And what do you want to say back? You're my favorite. You're the person I want to call when something good or bad happens. The first thought when I have news to share. You're my person. So, like I said, you could be dating. This other person could be dating. Um, or, you know, the karmic could be dating. Take it out, resonates. You'll, you'll find that out. Again, collective messages are kind of like hard to pin down specifics. But I know that I see somebody dating. I know that I see somebody missing you, okay? And you are their favorite. It doesn't matter who comes into your life. That's your person, okay? And that's how they feel as well. Bottom of the deck energy is playing games. This is a game to me. The way I'm responding, acting, or posting is to get your attention. So somebody may be posting like some pictures or some, you know, some memes or whatever. They're just trying to get your attention right now, okay? And I'm hearing that that's karmic energy too. Somebody's just trying to get your attention right now when it comes down to it. I'm just hearing that it's a lot of like, you know, unknowns when it comes down to it. And again, Divine Masculine got that card. Things aren't always what they seem. So be careful on how you react to social media and all this posting stuff, you know? It was so much easier, you know? I feel like our parents had it so much easier when they didn't have to deal with breakups and then getting online and seeing somebody with somebody else or, you know, something like that. I mean, triggering. People like to trigger each other nowadays with social media. But like I said, this person still wants to apologize for the things that they've done. So you have to see their heart in it, okay? Heart chakra, remember, activated heart chakras, they really recognize the love here and there's unconditional love here. So that's what I have for you guys today. I hope this information helped and blessed. You guys have a very safe day, okay? Eclipse day. Um, you know, if you would like to book a personal private reading, I'm opening my books tomorrow. I will not be working today, you guys. I'm going to take my break as well. I'm going to enjoy the eclipse and, you know, just the time uh, to just do a bunch of nothing when it comes down to that spiritual recharge, okay? Um, sometimes you do have to get that spiritual recharge. So tomorrow, my books will be open, JustDreamGuide.com. You can always book today for tomorrow, JustDreamGuide.com for a personal private reading. This full vi video will be available on YouTube as usual and as always. And then um, what else? Last but not least, you know, my, my cards are available on the TikTok shop and JustDreamGuide.com. Thank you so much for your time as usual. The daily Zodiac cards will be posted today as well in a, in a very few. Um, one card, one minute pool, only on YouTube. So follow me on YouTube. Y'all know to like, share, and subscribe. I thank y'all for y'all support, for your love, for everything. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hearts, 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 and I will see you all next time. Thank you.